Academy. It's the entry point. There are seven classes, hours and hours of information, PowerPoint to teach you step by step by step what it means to be free, to set yourself free. Because when people are not free, it's tough to pursue success. It's tough to pursue success. So I'm going to stop here. The show notes will be available in my school. Let me give this. I know, Ikao, you just joined. And um, come up to the stage. Um, this will definitely be in the public room in the in the school. So you'll be able to access that as well. I know you you were able to sign in yesterday, right? So you can raise your hand. Yeah, you should. Okay, add shaped. Good, good, good. Ask to speak. Let's bring you up. How are you? Uh, uh, good evening. I'm from Ghana. <laughs> I'm doing well. Good, good, good. Good. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, yes, I've started watching the videos. Um, I, I want to watch every video three times. So Whoa. Nice <laughs> so I've listened to the first one twice. The one you talked about emotional intelligence. Um, so what were the highlights um, then? Yeah, I think uh, um, there was one you talked about. You talked about. Um, um, inspiration you talked about i think six processes that one has to go through yes for leadership uh, self-leadership self yeah the inspiration yes the self-leadership and that's what i'm currently trying to um, install in my system <laughs> you uh, say installing uh, your system <laughs> yes yeah. so this evening unfortunately i i i was stuck somewhere i said no let me join and and and, and i had a little bit of mind and the body connection so something came in mind this afternoon about the filtering process. You talked about filtering um, your your system. How that you even go to the dentist every now and then. You ask him when it is critical. You have to go to the dentist. But when it comes to self leadership or self therapy, you have to consistently uh, you know reflect on yourself and make sure you do the work that is necessary for you to get to where you want to. Um, today is the day uh, i really was talking to my mind uh, it will bring a lot of projections so that i'll be there i'll be sitting there and then it will bring something in the past and it will be playing in my head and i have to talk to it so i wanted to ask this evening when i joined and uh, coincidentally you are talking about the mind and body um i wanted to try to ask them um, how do you filter um talk is it talking back when the mind gives you you know, a picture or an event because I was supposed to go somewhere and mm -hmm. the man told me that you see this place where you went the last time wasn't good. Ooh. So I was like, I was trying to listen to myself. Oh wow. Don't don't say that. No. Oh wow. Give me something different. Give me something different. Mm. Uh, I want something different. And uh, I was so I was struggling with it here and there, back and forth. Like my mind is telling me, no, the last time you tried, it didn't work. So why do you want to try it again? Uh, so um, hmm. it's the filtering process. I realize that it's not that easy like that. You really have to fight, fight. But I just wanted to know from your experience and how wow. you interact with people, wow. how you filter those uh, okay. the thoughts that are not necessary. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay, good. Thank you. So Ikao, the first thing is, you see, all these things that I teach, the way I teach it, first of all, is to create knowledge. The next thing is to develop skill. So as an educator, I always try to separate it. The first thing is that most people don't even know. Most people are sitting in the ignorance, like they are ignorant of all these things I'm talking about. Lack of knowledge. But so the first thing my class will do is first of all, wake you up. Now, because exactly. just in 24 hours now, you are awake. <laughs> right? Yes. I'll be there. I'll be there. A certain guy approached me. He's that type of person. Anytime he comes to me and he's trying to, hey, have you heard of this? I've heard of that. And I'll be like, hmm, yeah, it's not good. So today he came to me and he was like, hey, I called you. Have you heard of that? I said, please, 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 please. Wow. Um, this conversation is so open for my mind. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so that was when that was when I was listening to the first audio, um, and I was like, no, this is, this is not good for my mind. And my mom was like, Abba, is your friend? Uh, you, you guys have been. Why do you want to, you know, uh, uh, 
so I said it loud. There was a lady who was sitting there. Said, ah, no, this guy always he brings something back to my mind. And, and the lady was like, ah, but what's wrong with you? I said, I'm talking to myself. <laughs> Talking to myself, so allow me. Oh my goodness! It's, um, an interesting experience. Wow. And um, hmm. I'm, I'm really ready to try to tell train my mind. Wow. Yes. Yeah, so. So. Yeah. So. Wow. So I'm. I'm trying to encourage you because <laughs> many people don't know the battles they have to fight. And in order to fight that battle, you have to develop skill. So even once you have that knowledge, the skill now. You are now you are now running a race to develop the skill. So let me give you a few things for that skill. Okay. The first thing you need to understand is that the mind is attached to a database of information. Okay. Just like I'm using computer terms now. You are carrying yes. around memories of your past and the present. Everything yeah. you've ever done is like a computer. From the day the computer was in your hands till now, if I can go and search history, there are files and information for every single thing yes. you have encountered. There is a file and characteristics and information and attributes stored in your system. Yes. So when you see this person, your, your mind knows the information about that person. When you see your watch, when you see your shoe, everything you are touching in reality, every experience, every relationship, everything you've ever encountered that you say is important to you in your mind just like a computer database there is a file for everybody in your system uh, 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 okay okay so what happens is that yeah did you want to say something i want to take this slow go ahead yeah so 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 that that is to say that um that experience that feeling because this person I've known him for most getting to eight years. Mm -hmm. And um, like you said, anytime I meet him, mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, he's coming to tell me something. Mm -hmm. So um, that means that today, when I met him, that kind of, let's say the file, some of the files displayed in my mind. And there are two things. And... That file mm -hmm. stores two things, information and emotion, feelings. Yes, yes, yes. Your emotion uh, is very true. Your emotion begins to kick in. So, for example, if 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 you have been thinking, if for, with the two of you have had conversation that surround around, you know, sadness and, and feeling like mm, it is well, it is. So anytime he comes around, he, he I don't know, but my, today yes, yes, was triggering that, and I was trying to suppress it. Okay, so so here is the key. Let's take it step by step. I love this interaction because you're already taking my classes so you can understand the lessons of the classes. So here is what happens. The thoughts that you share with people, places, and reality, the stories that you are, your conclusion about your experiences, whether with people, whether with places, whether with location, whether with things, there are some things you like, you like you have your favorite perfume you have your favorite shoe you have your yeah. favorite handbags you have a relation you are forming a connection an energetic connection with everything you touch everything you see and you are deciding which one gives you pleasure or pain okay uh, do you see that so i'm coaching you live okay. now everything you touch everything you experience so you know which food you like you know which food you don't like right yeah. but those sensation is energetically connected with thoughts i like this i don't like this okay when you see something you don't like you will generate a reaction of displeasure when you see things and experience things you like you will be happy and fulfilled so now is if you plug people and things into those two dimensions, you start seeing that some people give you more pleasure than pain. Some people give you pain than pleasure. Now, having said that, okay, the power of choice, there is a polarity that comes with wisdom. Okay. The polarity is that those who love you may bring you some pain. Those who give you pain may give you some love. You have to reconcile that in your life. Okay, I just I just went advanced a little bit for you now. 
it takes a while to, for that to sink in. Those who love you may at times bring you pain. Those who bring you pain may actually also somehow love you. This guy loves you, but he's bringing you pain. He likes you. There's something about you that he wants to be around you. It could be your energy, your aura. But the question is, is it too much to swallow for your being? Too much pain, little pleasure. You have to start with, right? You, these are the, the, the decisions you have to make. You, because you don't want to throw the bath water with the, with the child. This is where wisdom yeah. comes. It's not everybody that you're going to say, you know what? See ya, bye-bye. So wisdom, discernment, when you have this skill, when you are awake, you now have to be checking your spirit more. You cannot be arriving at conclusion that this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Because you don't know who God will still use you. So there is some form of wisdom. But the first thing is, your mind must be trained to be wise, not foolish. Mm. <laughs> wow. Mm, wow. That's the first thing. The mind can be foolishly self-sabotaging because it loves... Listen, people who take drugs, who take all this alcohol, it's the mind who drink anything, eat anything, just to be in a place of happiness. But real happiness and peace... Real happiness and peace is expensive. It takes a fight to be at peace, to be well. And people who do not want to do this work, they will numb, they will take a drugs, they will consume content, they will not change. This is the assignment. You see, this, this mess, this class is making you do work. And that work, you can feel the tension. Right? Exactly. So, so the first thing I shared, think about all through life up until you encountered the program let's say yesterday uh -huh. in you is all the information your old inf everything you've depict everybody in your own country everybody in your life they have a they have a space in your in your mind in your heart they they occupy spaces there are some of them more important less important right intimacy relationships things you like more than you like right there is um attraction connection energetic entanglement right there are some people you hold close to your heart there are some people you don't all of that information is inside you all of the stories about who is who what is what they are all inside you this is how you've been navigating life before and so when you show up to any space you know what shows up all of your database as well so as i'm speaking to you i'm technically priming your database your database is changing based on this conversation right you are acquiring and this is why this is the power of the self we are designed to grow we are designed to expand in fact when you do this work you can completely rewrite rewrite your database okay you can come in a year's time you can totally become a new person because you're you're it's like going into your computer and deleting everything and bringing something more powerful right so to your question to your question now i gave that background now let's tackle to your your question how do you fight this when you know that once you start encountering old reality this is what causes trigger if you didn't take my class you would have done exactly what you used to do with this person the scenario would have exactly. gone exactly you would have repeated exactly the pattern and you'd have walked away and go oh boy this guy or you will repeat and repeat, repeat so this is what causes manifestation but because you've taken the first class at least now you know you stopped that process in the middle you didn't allow it to complete mm. yes okay so that's the power the power to say no the first power you must activate is your power to say no many people don't know how to say no so they accept mm. everything they say yes 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 mm. yes that's what i talked about your choice versus acceptance 
Most people are programmed wow. to accept everything people are bringing their way versus making a choice that is aligned to who you want to be. So culturally, many people, that's why the person who sat next to you looked at you like, accept this person now. You were programmed to accept yeah. crap and nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> Crappy belay behavior, right? Yes. You were, you were programmed to sit with toxicity and be okay with it. Mm. But once, once your soul says, I don't want nonsense around me anymore. I don't want limitation. I don't want crazy. I don't want any of those things. You now have to practice your power to resist. So this is exactly the same thing Jesus did after fasting for 40 days. The devil came. Jump here. Do this. Do that. Do this. I'll give you this. I'll give you. That's the conversation. What did Jesus do? Jesus just countered. So there are one way of fighting it is just to give your mind something else to think about something more superior this is the power of the bible that christians carry but people don't read do you wow. see this was the weapon wow. because when opposition comes you need you need a comeback you need to have a punch the punchline is in your bible but if you don't have an alternative source you are still being held bound because you don't you don't know how to throw a punch if somebody punches you and you don't you don't know how to that's why bible talks about the weapon of warfare you have a weapon of warfare mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but if you don't kit up if you don't suit up you cannot fight mm. that's what's happening but yeah. first thing is now you've seen the fight now you've recognized the fight the the skill now is to train yourself for the fight and part of training is word of god the word of god mm. right the authentic because everything else is a lie. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow, wow, I love this. Everything else is a lie. You can't do this, you can't do that. This thing is this. Who told you so? But if you do this, then this, then that, right? Who so but guess what? Your mind is speaking from your database. You've been watching all kinds of movies. Mm. Your parents have been telling you things. Your friends have been telling you things. You studied it in your mind. You believed it. Your mind will give to you what is in that. The stories in your database. Your mind will say, but, but this, but that, but this. What you saw in a movie, it can become your reality. Mm. So your mind is just showing you what is inside your database. And the skill is you can, you can now say, oh, oh, so that's what's in my database. Let me give you a new story. You see, I can do all things to Christ and strength. You think I cannot do this? You think I cannot do that? Listen, let's, let's, that database, bring the, in fact, what you do is bring that file, bring that file, bring it up, bring it up. It's time for me to delete what was there before. The programming that was there. The programming of failure. The programming of limitation. Ah, thank you, God. I can see it now. You now say, okay. I'm no longer a failure. I'm now a success. Don't bring me crap anymore. This mind. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. I don't want you to tell me I cannot do what God is telling me to do. I don't want to listen to nonsense anymore. You can now tell your mind what God told you. All things are possible to them that believe. All I have to do is believe. And I'm mind, I'm telling you, we are going to make money. We are going to build this business. I'm going to be great. I'm going to be great. I'm going to be great. Don't tell me I will not be great. Don't tell me to stop here. This office is just a pass through. This is not my bus stop. Mind, come up higher and start listening to what Evan is saying about our life. Wow. So you have to bring that file. The file that is telling you nonsense. Oh, this. Oh, that. This will do. That is a file of failure. It's the program. It's the virus. You didn't know it was there, but they were there. Your mind cannot serve you something that is not in your mind. Your mind cannot speak of something that is not in your mind. It cannot project what is in your mind. So it is a clue. Every thought is a clue what entered your system. If you don't like it, remove it. If they are saying, eat this food. The mind is saying, this food, this food. We cook this food with all the movies you've been watching. All the books you've been listening to, 
what everybody has been saying that you've been accepting, accepting, accept. Well, this is the cook. This is the food I can cook for you with that information. Mm, wow. So if you don't like that food, don't eat it. But now you have to give it new thoughts because that same mind is the one that will manifest God's dreams for you. So be kind to your mind. Right? So that same mind is your tool for manifesting God's glory. But if it doesn't have a database, if you are not feeding it nutrition, you are not, you are not going to the shopping market to gain nutritional food. Right? And you are eating junk, it will serve you junk. Whatever you give to it, it will cook it and give it back to you. So that's why discipline. Right? When people don't understand <laughs> or the power of education, many people many people think education is cheap so they are going on social media eating leftovers all over mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. if you love your mind you are supposed to pay to train your mind wow. you're supposed to buy wow. books the the quality of life you want your mind to produce is supposed to dictate the quality of the education you are pursuing you see people will go at length go to harvard princeton and when you start seeing them building successful life, why? They went for the best education in the world. Mm. Those who, as far as you educate yourself, is what the mind can deliver for you. Right? And this, for because you are a Christian, the mistake Christians make is that they don't understand that the power of manifestation, your mind still has to do work here on earth, no matter what God has given you in the spiritual realm. No matter what prayers you pray, you see here on earth, you will do work. And the work you can do is based on your training, your preparation. So if God is going to enlist you, you better train well. So part of what's happening is that people are not taking their process, their training more seriously. They are not taking it seriously. They are offering themselves cheap stuff, cheap things, scrolling. When God is telling you, oh, if you are going to lead the future, you cannot be, you cannot be, you cannot be on social, you cannot be doing crazy stuff. Because your mind, That's right. your mind must ascend. That's what anointing does. When David's head was anointed for kingship, he has to start behaving like a king. Mm. Right? You have, your mind has to be anointed for success. Mm. <laughs> it, 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 kind of, it links even with the scripture i think romans he talks about do that mind the flesh do the things out of the flesh do that mind after the spirit do the things after the spirit how that um there's a two-way street either you are going in the mind or the flesh or you are going with the mind of the spirit so i think it it um it sits on because today I was at, I was constantly telling my mind, who told you? Who told you? And I was like, ah, who told you this? Then <laughs> I'll be interacting with myself. Mm -hmm. I was sitting in the car and I, I thought there was this um, thought about mm -hmm. a church event happening, and um, you're like, you see, the last time they, they took you out. Mm -hmm. so, you know, that's the reason why they've not they've not added you this time around to this stage. So you are not part again. I said, who told you? <laughs> right so so okay Ikao, let me tell as you're speaking let me let me start addressing some things your mind always knows your past and your present it doesn't know your future until you tell it about your future mm, okay, okay 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 you get that the mind is a record okay. of the past everything that has it will always this is what causes patterns of behavior it will always do what it has always done <laughs> right so okay. it will tell you you're trying to do something you've done before the last time we were here this is what happened it has a record of your okay. past mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and what why it is warning you is because you experienced something you didn't like and your mind wants you to be happy and, you are, and it's telling you you're about to do something again that will not make you happy because if you repeat the past the past didn't make you happy do you still want to do it? Do you still want to go where you did? You weren't happy? It's asking you, it's challenging you to think again. Because it has a record of what didn't make you happy. It has a record of who didn't make you happy the last time. 
So the next time you are approaching a place or a person that didn't give you pleasure, that gave you pain, your mind will warn you. Wah, 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 this person. And then when somebody, <laughs> I always say there's an identity of victim, villain, or victor. The victim will start attacking that person, accusing that person. This person is bad. This person is this. You start throwing label. The victim's weapon is accusation. It's okay. complete, right? So a victim, when your mind to tells you, this person did this to you, the victim will say, yeah, I've heard it before. Then, 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 then. And then you store it in your system. Your mind will say, okay, this is how you want to think about this person. Any time this person's name comes up in your mind, you know, just tell this story. This person is bad. This person is nasty. This person is this. Okay. That's the victim. The villain, the wicked people, when their mind tells them, this person did something, right, that you didn't like, the villain will attempt to fight that person, will go at length to destroy that person. Yeah. Okay? Will scheme because he sees that person as the enemy. The mind says, this person is not nice. I will show him who I am. I will show him who is the boss. That's the villain. That's the wicked person that is encountering yeah. things they don't like in life. They become like agents of the devil now the victor is where forgiveness comes in reprogramming yourself to set people free this is what god tells us to do when somebody does something you don't like don't throw them assault don't judge them don't call them names forgive them and let them go they are going on their own journey don't let their own reality disrupt your own thinking pattern this is deliverance right there this is we're going spiritual here yeah. is that yeah, your nice. mind when it tells you what happened to you yes you don't like it but the identity of victimhood will make you complain gossip wah, 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 wah. these are people that don't have power for success it is act it acts, actually takes more courage to forgive people and why do you have to forgive people? Because your future, your future is not in the hands of your assailant. Mm. <laughs> wow. Your future. Right when now, you know. Right now, I need to tell my mind. Go on. So, so I was saying, um, yeah, I think the labels you were talking about it came to uh, it came in today. You know, that some people when you think about them, you are like. No, this person didn't treat me well. This it looks like this person. Each time I'm holding, I I don't go. So and there was this friend who I have, um, quite recently. I think somewhere last year, he was he's that gossiping type. So um, I was I discussed something with him. I thought it would it would just rest between um, him and I, I myself. And apparently, everybody had it. So. Anytime I see him, I was like, this boy, I'll, I'll show you, I'll, I'll show you where people like, I'll show you where people like, just, uh, uh, and I, so as you were talking, I was like, oh God, let me see, I'm, I'm making, so, this friend of mine, that the, everything was fine, now, when I see him, or even his thought comes in mind, you know, like, I'll show you people, and me too, I'll respond, yes, I'll, I'll show you, baby. I'll show you, <laughs> I'll show you where people like, so, it is today that, um, I, I I had to pause and re-examine my 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 thinking process. Mm -hmm. Be like, yeah, what is happening to you? because like, your mind happening? you your mind will say, "Is this what you want? Is this what you want?" But yourself, you have a yeah. choice to to you you can choose yeah. how to respond to people. You know, many people who haven't done this work will say, "You did this to me. You did this to me. It's because of you that this happened. It's because of you. It is because." the self has not been empowered to choose a higher this right to choose what god wants you to choose but if you feel weak people who feel weak will either fight people that they think weaken them or use other people to fight them go and complain or go and report i'm telling you that the strongest thing you can do is to offer people grace and understanding that this person also has not done this work. 
Wow. Yes. That's one of the power of this thing is that when you set yourself free, you will set other people free as well. When you are free wow. to choose, to think, when you have your mind back and your life back and you are creating success and prosperity, successful people don't fight. There's no, the energy you need wow. to create wow. your wealth. Why are you using it to fight people? These people are not important. This is yeah. Plus, people who are busy making money, you won't see them typing anything on social media. If, if, yeah. if, so, but if somebody comes for them, they will hire lawyers and accountants, they will finish that person. But they let people go, unless you are actively trying to mess them up. That's when they defend. You are supposed to defend your territory. Right? You defend your territory. Yeah. That is where boundary is because you don't want to be weak. A city without walls. Listen, you will fight to protect what you are building, your legacy, your prosperity, but you will not abandon your own project and start going to fight somebody that is not relevant to your future. So it's actually, it's very foolish for people to be using their energy to engage con in conversations and thought processes that is, that is just unnecessary. People who cannot offer you anything, right? It's like what Jesus did to that tree, right? There was a, there were, the, let's say that, let's say that tree is a relationship, a relationship that looked mm -hmm. like it's, it's going to help you feed you. You get close to it. It's a dead tree, no fruit. Jesus cursed that tree. He cut it down. That tree did not exist. So there are some things you need to completely delete from your mind by saying i'm done with you you no longer exist for me I, I have there's i don't want to think about you you don't exist in my universe what jesus did was in his own being he deleted that tree from his reality and he spoke out and said because you are no longer in my system you will not be in the physical realm i won't see you again as well when i pass by you next time you dry up Wow. At the beginning, I said manifestation is when your external reality matches with your internal reality. Because Jesus said, ah, this tree, you tricked me. I came close to you. You made promises to me. Your tree looked green. I thought you were going to feed me. I thought God was going to use you to better my life. And when I came close to you, I saw you are a dry tree. And because of that, my, in my heart, I see you as a dry tree. And I command that in the physical realm, you dry up. Dry up. I will never look to you for as a resource. And no man again will look to you as a resource again. So Jesus' internal processing, the conversation he had with his own soul, when that internal programming changed to this tree is useless, there is no use of this tree. This tree was supposed to do this and by now it didn't have a fruit and it's tricking me. Listen, no man will eat of this tree again. The outside world must mirror the decision I've made in my soul. So Jesus walked away and when they were coming back, suddenly the Disciples were like, whoa, 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 this is the tree we encountered before. The outer state of this tree has matched the internal state of Jesus. Jesus killed it in himself first before he killed it with his mouth. They had to speak out of the mouth, out of the heart, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth will speak. Jesus spoke what he had wrestled in his heart. He fought that battle, was like, chai, what this tree did is painful because I was hungry. And I thought this tree would feed me and it didn't feed me. So it deserves to not exist so that I will never look to this tree for help again. There are some relationships you are supposed to say, I'm no longer coming near you because you've always served me nothing. So when you delete it in your mind, you delete it in your mind, it doesn't exist in your mind anymore. It will cease to exist in your reality. Wow, this is so heavy. This is very heavy. Um, wow. But what most uh, people will do, what most people will do will still be tolerating nonsense. One leg in, one leg out. One leg in, one leg out. One leg in, one... You've not decided. A double-minded person, you can't receive. You deal... There are some things you deal wow. with and you keep moving. You don't even look back. 
Sodom and Gomorrah see ya by anytime people look back to the past. They can't move into the future. Can't move into the future. You can't move into the future. Yeah. You can't. Hmm. So there are some tough choices you start having to make with programming. You start looking at your file. <laughs> Every day now, this is what's going to happen. This is your full-time job, by the way. Grab a pen, grab a paper. Everything flowing through your thought. Because once you have this skill, Holy Spirit, God wants to work with you to fix your past so that it will not keep you from the future. So, so many thoughts. The thoughts you didn't, you, you weren't fighting before. You didn't do anything. You were just allowing them to roam in your system. You have, you, God wants you to deal with them. So many, 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 many things will be coming up. Things that you didn't consider before that you were accepting, 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 accepting. And they are drowning your dreams, drowning you in the sea of acceptance. You are tolerating, 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 which is the culture, by the way. The culture says you should tolerate crap and nonsense. God is saying those things weigh you down. You are supposed to be light. You are supposed to be forgiving. Wow. You are supposed to empty yourself of toxicity so that you can fly to higher levels. People don't do this work. Mm. They don't know these things weigh them down. God is saying, come higher, come higher, come from among them. But the among them is saying, stay with us. You are one of us. <laughs> wow. I mean, as you are talking, a lot of scriptures were even coming to my mind. Like, um, lay aside every way. Hebrews 12, lay aside every way. That easily beset you. And looking onto Jesus, the author and creator. So, um, my mind is telling me that if you're not able to even treat the past, there's no way we can we can go together in the future. Yes. So it's it's amazing. It's it's really amazing. So um so right now I'm I'm taking actionable steps. I want to every morning try and pick a scripture that my mind will be plugged on because today I I pick the scripture, I think first Corinthians one verse forty said that he enriches us in all in all um speech and all knowledge he the lord enrich us so i was trying to meditate on that but as i was meditating yes at a point it, it dwindled off then i went to meet my friend and my, i told i told my mind hey no this guy i don't want to tolerate that's what i, I, I so it, it's, it's it's a skill like you said but i realized that this skill it, it's a lifelong skill it's uh it's yeah. something that's you see, you see yeah you see that scripture the scripture you just talked about the reason you want to meditate i think yesterday you were asking me how does it go from just reading into your heart when you meditate on it so much you have to understand that holy spirit just gave you a serious weapon because that scripture is what you are going to use to fight anytime a mind tells you you don't have any form of limitation what do you say? He enriches me. He gives me the strength. He yes. gives me the resources I need. Yes. I am rich. Right? Yes. Because yes. there's a, there are yes. thoughts yes. where people will say, oh, they don't have time. They don't have money. They don't, you have all things. He has given you all that you need for life and godliness. You are not lacking anything. Yes. Everything you need, you are carrying inside you. But you just need to nurture yourself. You need to take care of yourself. Yes. Every equipment, every talent, every skill you need to be great. You, you are not lacking of everything. You, it is inside you. Your wealth is inside you. You are the seed of greatness. But the enemy will keep lying to people that they need external, this external, that. No. What you need is to do is invest in yourself and nurture yourself into greatness. You nurture yourself into greatness. You see, David nurtured himself from being a shepherd boy. By psalms, in songs, the conversation he had with God got him to become a king. His father didn't make him a king. Nobody made him a king. His meditation on the word of God, his relationship with, G, with God, his conversations with destiny, with his own soul, took him to the king to become a king. There was no internet, there was no social media, there was no Instagram. As long as people are thinking, external circumstance is what will give birth to your destiny. It's a lie. You better go and sit down, 
with God and be talking to God and let God talk to you because that's how you are going to rise higher to the heights. David's simple conversation and his meditation, that's why God says, a man after my own heart. His conversation with wow. destiny, what he did when nobody was watching, please God, because God is always scanning. God is always looking for the right art that he can promote. God doesn't need wow. social media, Instagram, anything to promote you. If your heart is right, if you are meditating with God, God knows how to promote you just by spending time with God. People don't understand this thing. Wow. wow. David's conversation with his creator made his creator make him king. When Samuel went to anoint him, God knew who he wanted to anoint. Even if the father did not know, David was anointed wow. king. Even the father did not, his father didn't crown him. His brothers didn't crown him. Even when it was, he was supposed to fight Goliath, his brothers was like, ah, we know you. you would, your brothers don't know who, your brothers cannot give you what God can give you. Nobody can give you what God can give you. And so many people are not seeking the face of God. The one that can promote you, the one that can ascend you, the one can, that can help you and elevate you. People don't talk to God. But they are like social media, social media, social media. Ooh, okay, social, social everything. Social media cannot take you to the heights of success. Only God can. But the, the reason is because the more you speak to God, God will speak to you. And once you hear from God, you, you now program your mind. The moment your mind can cooperate with what God's tell, telling you, that's when you ascend. But this mind... People are giving their mind to the world and they are telling the world to program them. The best thing the world can give you is what it is giving you now, doubt, confusion. You better take that same mind and take it back into the word of God and let do the washing, washing of the word. Right? Because once your mind can be programmed, you are successful. You can do everything. Once you program your mind, your mind will be well, your body will be well, you will, you will quantum leap into success. Wow. 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 <laughs> that's, that's so amazing. That's your amazing. meditation, your spiritual practice is the key to success. Mm. And, uh, wow. Then, then I have to, I have to re, re, rearrange because I wasn't used to that. I just, you know, pray as and when um, difficult times will come, but it wasn't like a conscious effort to always talk to god like okay i want to talk to god in the morning uh, I want to talk to god in the evening <laughs> Eka, your uh, mind this mind is yes. talking this mind is talking to you every moment mm. and you don't understand jesus said pray without season prayer is your conversation mm. with god mm. jesus said pray without season you are seizing yes this mind is con is programming you moment by moment and manifesting your reality every second every minute every hour so if you want to manifest everything god has for you you better start talking to god not not just morning and night moment by moment uh, moment by moment yes wow wow wow, wow. thank you so much that's uh, that's the only that's way easy. that's the only way that's the only way let's say this session today i wanted to finish it I got to a moment, I felt in my spirit, stop doing part one, part two. I obeyed. I took a pause. Because when you open yourself to God, God can call you immediately and you are supposed to respond immediately. Most people, what God told them to do five years ago, they've not done it today. Disobedience. Not done it. Mm. Because God really wow. needs you. When he says stop, you stop. When he says go, you go. When he says come, you come. But most people, if you are not practiced, right your mind will tell you to stop you stop your mind will tell you to go you go you're being ruled by your mind instead of being ruled by the holy spirit you have to change you have to change who is running your life and so when you swap it the voice of god is what you'll be hearing moments by moment you will not be tuning in to the voice of limitation so it's not just oh my morning prayer or my night prayer listen it is my second minute moment by moment prayer because that mind, the, sec the energy field you have 
thoughts are roaming thoughts don't wait for you at night they are running as we are speaking right now so you want to make sure that the thoughts running in your system is perpetually your meditation with god so anywhere you go every thought you have it is this is how god designed us in the garden in genesis the fellowship God designed us for fellowshipping. His thoughts were designed to run and power us. But the fall of man disconnected that. So God, Jesus came to save the soul. But your mind is now in your control. You have to continue to bring your mind back to what God wanted. Right? Fellowshipping with God moment by moment. Moment by moment. moment by like moment by moment like every time anything you want to do check in check in check in check in check in check in because if you don't check in and you keep give a gap <laughs> what are you giving I a think, gap to i think <laughs> that's the, that has been my problem because i do it I, it's like okay you know we've been trained that's one of the uh, in church okay in the morning you do then you go to your activities so it's a gap from morning then in the evening then you come to god again but i've not been taught that every moment like you can converse with god okay god we are going to take a car or maybe god, <laughs> look, look, look at what she's doing i wish like that kind of a conversation hasn't we've not really i've not really been exposed to teachings like every moment is a moment with god yeah every moment is a you moment know why you know why your vision no. <laughs> the, the reason is because even the concept of prayer, your mind, the way your mind is seeing prayer, yeah. is not seeing it as fellowshipping. It's seeing yeah. prayer as a duty. But trust me, prayer is to your own benefit and well being. Yeah. It's not a duty. It's not, you have to like because people have been programmed to say if you don't pray then this like as if god needs you to pray no 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 you need you to pray <laughs> there, there's this song right <laughs> not to cut this up you're fine there's this song in the system now if i don't pray uh satan will make mess of me you don't like, people don't understand you, you you think god is sitting and his own reality changes because you don't pray no it is your own reality that will change when you pray your own life will change drastically when you get close to god god is god god loves us he wants to bless us he wants to right manifest his presence but trust me you have to get close to me if my people who are called by my name would humble themselves this is an humble practice and seek my face i will come from heaven and heal their land we need emotional healing we need emotional deliverance. We need to be set free from all thoughts of failure, doubt, fear, limitation. We need it. We need it so much. We need it now more than ever. We need God today than ever before. Because the things holding people back, the only person that can set you free is the word of God. You better run to him. Hmm. That's why other people that teach manifestation, they cut off God. They will not say God. They'll be saying universe. Which universe? What can the universe do for you? The universe will even give to you what your mind is asking for. Because the universe is designed to obey you. They don't understand. Mm -hmm. the, you are supposed to subdue the universe. Your voice, you will eat the fruit of your mouth. So whenever, excuse me, people who, who teach manifestation, when they eliminate God, ah, where is your source? Where is your power? You can't dominate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You will continue. To, people will continue to be a subject of the universe. I'm not a subject of the universe. I'm not yet. <laughs> I'm here to rule the universe. Because the universe was created for man. Do you understand? Be fruitful. Yes, multiply. Replenish the earth. You are to replenish the earth. And then you are to subdue something greater than the earth. Right? You plant in the ground. Be fruitful. Multiply. Replenish the earth. Then subdue. Take domination. Yeah. But the moment you cut off 
God, people will now be, oh, you are praying to the universe. Universe that needs to be praying to you. <laughs> be, you know why? Because the conditions here on earth, the collective conditions scientifically, when people say global warming, the activities of man is changing the universe. Do you understand? When they say global warming, all these things, the things that we are doing, our behavior is affecting times and seasons. You see? Wow. We are the we are the effect. We are the one changing reality. We are the one changing the world. That's why I say all of these things requires us to be more responsible and wise. So it's not the other way around. The, world, the whole world is waiting for the wow. manifestation of the children of God. Universe is waiting for you to dominate, to rule it, to make it better. It's not the other way around. So don't pray to the universe. Mm. The God, God gave you to rule. Your words change times and seasons. Right? When you say tornado stop, storm stop, you change, you change the signs in the hair. Everyone listens to you. When you say storm, stop, this go. That's what we are supposed to be doing. <laughs> Commanding seasons and wow. times. Wow. Right? Wow. <laughs> the Bible says yeah. these men, these men were, were, were like, we are their like. The people who say, don't rain. Let the storm stand still. Moon and stars, obey my voice. They are like us. But if you don't elevate your mind to perform at those levels, you will continue to say, oh, help me. Victims of reality instead of victors. Yeah, oh God. Exactly. Let's wrap things up there. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, tomorrow it continues, right? We'll see. Every day I wake up and I say, okay, what are we doing today? <laughs> what are we doing? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I, I just hope the Lord will just tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I'm really loving the conversation every now and then. I'm really, really that I'm, I just, it just fired me up this evening. Uh, it's like every moment is firing up. Mm -hmm. And um, because, really because we are like playing that. catch up. When I say quantum leap, mm. quantum leap, quantum leap is the <laughs> edge of creation. God can create mm. a new cell. Your brain, the, the, you see, the mind controls the brain and the brain controls the body because of this engagement there are new neurons neural pathways created in your brain physically because of this conversation people don't understand that the healing most of the healing jesus performed is just a conversation the word of god their spirit and their life so when you open your mind to god's message your physical being your body changes is transformed this is a transformation by the renewing of the mind literally the structure of the brain changes when the word of god is implanted you are taught something new. this is the power of education and life and people perish because they are not expanding their mind their mind is stuck in the past and they are fine with it right they are fine with it now Doing the same thing, going, waking up, doing the same thing. They are fine with it until they wake up. When I say take the classes, mm, they are fine with their old. Enroll, you are fine with your old. Because you know why? The same mind that doesn't want them to do this work will, will say they don't have money. They don't have time. They don't have this. It will not let them prioritize their future. It will be telling them stories of the past. Yeah, that same mind. That same mind. That same mind you're supposed to renew. It's to say, go and spend money and buy chewing gum. Use your time and energy to do things that keep you in the past. But when solutions like this, that will rescue you, accelerate you, set you free. When you read Emotional Freedom, Unstoppable, Quantum Leap, right? When, you, when I tell you, take this class, this class, that same mind is what is holding people. You say save this. It will now be telling you don't 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 spend your money. It's too expensive. This 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 is that same mind that doesn't want you. The cost of freedom is expensive. Mm. Yes, mm. but you want it to wow. be cheap. Yeah. The cheap life is cheap. You get what you get. Mm. But those who want prosperity, listen. They fight. Listen to your Bible again. 
everybody that God used, they threw their entire being. They, they threw everything, everything behind purpose. Abraham left father's house. Gideon teared down his father's idols. David fought Goliath. You see, Jesus went to the cross. So I don't know when Jesus says, carry your cross and follow me. What have you carried? What have you done to gain the reward of the crown? He said, I come quickly. My reward is with me. To give according to your works. What are your works? What battles have you fought in your mind? <laughs> Listen. Better people better wake up. Show me your works. Because God is going to reward your works. If your works is for four hours on Instagram, you will gain the reward. Wherever you put your time, energy, and resources, you it's, it's already you're already manifesting at the levels of your investment. At the levels of what you are ready to what you are not ready to fight. Whatever is on the other side as the reward of your fight. These are the champion mindset. You come to the race of life fully loaded. You want to, you listen, and we see this, right? Soccer match. Imagine you are, you are, you are, you are watching a soccer match and you just see the players strolling. They are not fit. They've not exercised. They've not practiced and they want to win. Life will beat you and eh? you come back again. <laughs> you show up to the field of life without preparation. Without practice, without tenacity, without determination, without rigor, without commitment, without focus. You show up to the world of business without skill. Ooh, you face what you face now. You go back, you go back home and you say, well, is the government, is Biden, is this. You better wake up. Prepare for battle. Uh for battle you wow. bet you better prepare for battle economic battle the battle for the future when they are laying off people if you don't have this skill people don't understand that the middle class is being set back by 20 years there's a reset economic reset the job that sustained the past a high you think your degree is the future think again be, be you better prepare for the economic battle at hand. Go and read the news again. All the stories your parents told you. Go to school. Get a job. Go to school. Get a job. Try it. Gen Z are already realizing. Whoa. Which job? This is not the life. This is survival. I want more than survival. Mm. Wow. And in order to fight for. What God is giving you. You need skill. You will fight with your mind. But your mind is fighting you right now. So first of all, conquer the mind so that the mind can help you fight and confront reality. You will negotiate reality. with your mind. You need your mind to be ready to fight. People who cannot fight, who cannot confront the pressure of battle, you will go home and God will say, children of Israel, you don't want to fight Goliath. You think you are ants. Most people will go back. Any generation that doesn't do this fight, they live beneath God's promises. That's the consequence. Uh, yes, the desert is still there. Egypt, they say, oh, Egypt, Egypt, Egypt. Okay, but Egypt is gone. Egypt was destroyed because God was setting you free. The job that lets you go, you don't know where it's going. You can't go back to, there are some people that you can't go back to that job. So are you going to be stuck in welfare? Are you going to be stuck in welfare? Or you're going to say, my God shall supply. This is the battle. This is for Christians. This is for Christians to wake up. They think you can coast by. This is not the year. This is not 2019. This is not 2000. You, people want to go back to the last time they could sit back, fold their head, and, and money is just entering bank accounts, and you're doing nothing, and you're just changing paper. Think again. Read the memo. This is the year you prepare for legacy, impact. Hear my voice, oh! Don't tell. Listen, <laughs> don't say you didn't hear me. God is crying and shouting. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! The world you used to know is gone. There's a new world being manifested. You need the skills. 
And this new world, you need to protect your mind because that world is coming to dominate people's mind. Uh, Everything that is being created is coming for the mind of men. Wow. Everything, whether it is Elon Musk doing his microchip, whether it's the metaverse, the new world is not physical, it's metaphysical. Wow. You'll be I'm sticking your mind, yeah. you'll be sticking your mind, and that world will become reality now. When you bring your mind out of that world, will you be well? Will you be happy? Will you be whole? Emotional intelligence, you need that weapon, weapon of warfare. The weapon of warfare of today is not oh, this, this is to protect your mind because in the future, Bible already says the heart of men will fail them. When you cannot get your mind right, the emotion of fear, of trepidation, it kills people. So get it right. This is not just about business. This, this is about well-being. This is the skill of the future. This is the skill of survival. Because you open news, you don't know. War, famine, disease, global warming. And you go, oh, this, oh, that. And you cannot, you cannot apply self-therapy. You cannot talk back to yourself. You cannot, listen, you see this God's word, you will hold it to your chest. That's the only thing that will help people survive what's coming. You will put your head inside God's word and you will be repeating it. Repeating it. Because whenever you put, bring your head out of God's word, everything you are reading, reading brings fear, doubt, confusion, economy this, war this, this person is this, that person is that, politics this. No message of hope. The only hope is in God's message. Wow. The only wow. hope very, very is this is the God of hope. And this is the one thing we all need right now. Because everywhere you turn to, this is why people are confused. This is why they are lost. This is why they are afraid. And it's getting worse. You think it's going to get better? No. No. Better protect your heart. Guard your mind. Take your mind out of nonsense thoughts. Don't let people be planting failure, malfunctioning thoughts in your mind. Carry your mind, right? Carry your head. <laughs> Put it inside God's wow. word every day, every moment, because you don't know who you are going to talk to that is also programmed to that. Listen, everybody is selling something. Everybody is trying to program everybody. Be careful who you talk to. Everybody is carrying Whoever has, whoever has been captured, victims will sell you victimhood. Villains, they also want you to be a villain. You know what they will do? Bible says, blessed is the one that do not sit in the, right, in the council of the ungodly, sit in the seat of scornful, stand in the way of sinners, right? You don't know that everybody else that hasn't cleaned up, they come to you. Ha, hey, Carl, ha, did you see what President this did today? Hmm. He doesn't like us. Oh, so we won't vote for him. Eka, don't vote for him. He's a wicked man. You too. You carry the thought in your heart. You, they programmed you. Now your heart is evil projecting to your president. They sold you wickedness. They made you believe a man you've never seen before. A man that is trying his best. They make you start projecting evil towards him they've recruited you for the devil's mission wow yeah victims too victims will come hey hey cow hey cow hmm. you don't believe what happened though your boss they fired me don't 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 give your boss your full self oh those people are bad you see employers are bad they fire people, fire people, fire people. You too, you carry it. You now start thinking they will fire you. So you don't show up to work anymore. You start, you start doing, you start malfunctioning. That's the malfunctioning. Where did that programming come from? A villain programmed, a victim programmed. But trust me, right now, as a victor, I'm programming you. Stand up. Arise, shine, for your light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. You are a light to your generation. Shine. So I'm also telling wow. you, I'm also telling you and selling you a mindset that says, no matter what you are facing, your God is able. If you believe me, you will carry it. You'll be saying, hey, Coach Toye said, God is able. God is able. 
So look around you. Everybody is selling you something. Everybody around you is what what by their fruits you shall know them. Do not listen to people whose lives. If you don't want your life to look there like their life, please don't be listening to them again. They will program you, you will manifest the same thoughts that manifest their reality. They want to sell it to you. Victims sell, villains sell wickedness. Victor. Victors, this is why we are supposed to be preaching God's message. God also is recruiting people. Because if we are not here, if I'm not here telling you this, people have already been programmed. <laughs> this is a deprogramming and a reprogramming. <laughs> okay. Wow. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's every moment with you is a firing moment, and uh, I think I've I've gotten the wisdom now because I need to train my mind to be wise, like you said, yeah. to shift from the victor, from the villain or the victim to the victor. Learning how to forgive people, learning how to delete, let, telling my mind that there's a new way. Like what there's the example you made with Jesus and the fig tree. I think it's um, because uh, uh, that uh, fight back revenge uh, and 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 it's and, and and it's not it's not because of anything. It's even the movies, the TVs that we watch, the advertisements and everything. Like you said, it's a programming. Yeah. Uh, you you watch a series where someone will be like, ah, they killed the mother, so you need to revenge. <laughs> so back in your mind, you have that little programming back. You've accepted, think, but the day you do this yes, work. And you realize they too were recruited and they are children of God. Actually, they too need rescue. And you shouldn't be touching children. God, God. Listen, if you are a mom, if you are a father, just because your, your, your kids are misbehaving doesn't mean you give permission to somebody else to be punishing your child. They are supposed to come and they are supposed to respect you enough and come and report your own children to you. So you start reporting God's children to him. I say, Daddy. Daddy God, you see this one of your child? This is what he did to me. I forgive him anymore. I hand your child back to you. You go and deal with your child. That's what we are supposed to be doing to God's children. Wow. Yeah, when you encounter wicked people, wow. you need to know that something is chasing them. They too have fears. They too have doubt. That's why they too, they are programming. They are in a cage. They are being controlled to be destroying Right, they are age. They, right, they've been recruited. They've been told a story that is making them malfunction. The day you start seeing this, you say, "God, hey, rescue me, set me free." But these people, I hand them over to you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> because you know why? Let me tell you. Let me tell you why, Ika. Let me tell you why. If you don't do what I just, let me tell you. If you don't do what I just told you right now, they will recruit you. You become a villain. You say, I'll show you. Now, your own, now you now become like them. Do you see? Because if you start doing fire for fire, they've recruited you into their own battles. There are certain things you, God will not wow. use you for. David fought so many wars. By the time he wanted to build the temple, God said he had so many, too much blood in his hands. So Solomon, his own battle was with wisdom. God endowed him with wisdom. He was wise enough not to fight physical battles. There are some things you don't need to fight physically wow. if you have divine wisdom. If you have divine wisdom, you'll be avoiding, you'll be avoiding nonsense. You will not tie your energy to people that don't make any sense. So wisdom in of itself is what we ought to be looking for. Wisdom will make you, you know, leave people alone. Because guess what? The wealth of nation is coming to you. You need, you need, you need clean hands to receive the wealth of nations. You see? for prosperity you need to look good you need to look good that's why bible says can you see solomon even the lilies were more adorned than solomon you need to look good smell good you need to pose for picture 
<laughs> so you cannot afford to be hungry. Don't be angry. Don't be squeezing your face. Don't be don't be gaining wrinkles on top of what. Leave people alone. Go and go and take your pictures. And and you know you say cheese. Wisdom will make you look good. When you are not, oh, ha, ah, wow. this person, ha, ah, he, ha, ah, who, ha, ah, who, ha, ah. you are like this, oh, she. Wisdom will say, Daddy, I can't deal with these people. Over to you. I want to go and sleep. My mind, you will start seeing your mind was not programmed to be figuring other people's problem out. Mm. That's why the mind you know so certain behaviors your mind will be trying to to understand it it cannot understand you weren't supposed to understand other people's chaos they are living in chaos don't dig your head into other people's chaos wow. leave them alone they are living in drama chaos. their own mind is manufacturing the evil they are processing right you're not supposed to put your mind and dig it into people who haven't done this work your, your mind was not designed that way that's why even for me, I give people tools. Fight your own battles. Take my classes, fight your own battles. And anybody that doesn't want to fight their own battle, phew, who is, is not my problem. It's, right? Because even God will say, listen, you will ask, you will seek, you will find. God is ready to enable us for success. But you have to install the right programming. Okay, I see Ikao. <laughs> listen, I'm glad Ikao is now... Yesterday he came on and I gave him access. He started the classes. He got your back. I said, I'm glad that you, you, you are now taking one, you know, the classes one yes, by please. one, one by one. Yes, please. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. This okay. Week, I'm, I'm yeah. I'm taking everything <laughs> step by step. Thank you so much. Um, I'm most grateful. I'm, I think God brought you to my way because uh, I'm really on, on, on learning a lot of things and learning new things. Um, I've been living a life, a revenge life. Oh, this one, I'll show you. <laughs> no, but right now, I think I need to take responsibility of my own self for my life. Because yeah. I don't want to be a victim. <laughs> <laughs> don't be a victim, don't be, be a villain. Victim. Because the mind, your mind will offer you the option of get back. I'm saying God is offering us an option of forgiveness. Forgiveness is an option that sets you free. And then you hand over. Right? You hand over. God says, vengeance is mine. You cannot undo vengeance. Anybody that undoes vengeance, in, in of themselves, you embody wow. the, same wicked, the same wickedness you do to other people. You do it to yourself. You don't understand. Whatever you do to other people, you are doing it to yourself because we all come from, we are all children of God. You are arming yourself because your mind will keep a record of your wrong. Right? Mm. Whatever you, whatever yeah. harm. Yeah. Because we too, we need forgiveness, you know. Forgive me my trespasses as I forgive others who trespass against me. Too. Yes. In mm. your heart, you need to program your mind to give and receive forgiveness. If you don't give it, how do you receive it? That's what people don't understand. That your mind needs to be programmed to release people free. And the moment you release people free, life will release you as well. Consequences will go away for your own misbehavior. Wow. Right? When you realize, when you wow. see yourself, when you see yourself and realize, Lord, I need mercy. I need mercy. So what it means is, if you, whatever you need, start giving it to people. You will get it. In fact, you will get it in abundance. Press down, shaking together, running over. Whatever you give to reality, it will come back, right? Do, right? To you. So if you need forgiveness, you better learn how to give people. If you know you need forgiveness, the law, the spiritual law is learn how to give it. Learn how to pray for your enemies. Learn how to set them free. Learn how to hand them over to God and say, God, Anybody that hands me over to you. Now, David said, I would rather fall into the hand of God than the hands of men. Right? Because God can offer us mercy. You to need, God will make you a leader when you know how to offer people mercy. Because your people that God, when God puts his people under you, would you be wicked to them? Would you be, listen, imagine if you are the boss of a company 
and every wicked person you fire them who will be left in your company if you cannot forgive if everybody if every of your child you throw them into the dungeon who 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 will be left excuse me who will be left who will be left who can god who can god trust you with or trust with you this is connected to prosperity you can't serve people who is coming around you you are not generous who is coming you are not kind who is coming you are this same you better clean your hands the closer you get to god you need clean hands clean hearts clean hands, clean hands right. and don't be energetically doing foolishness oh this who said this you don't need that focus on what god has for you okay. so here is an invitation to everybody if you need clarity emotional freedom emotional skills take the emotional intelligence seven part series class available at towingumessery.academy once you set yourself free if you already are thinking of starting you've made the decision to start your business then move on to the 10-week business growth accelerator that's a year program that you can now accelerate and complete in 10 weeks it was taught in a year the people the classes i taught it in a year now you can finish it in 10 weeks so it's an intense rigorous 10-week program you have to dedicate time to it there are 10 subjects you will master it replaces the need of 10 coaches i'm a super coach <laughs> i'm a super super duper coach spiritual mentor as well and then wow. from there when you want to do international trade you want to take your business to higher levels you enroll in the quantum leap programs there are advanced sales and marketing classes included millionaire mindset program on and on the quantum leap creator method you had on spiritual psychology because once you are ready to go into international trade market this is the highest most competitive business environment international trade you have to come in correct you have to come in prepared you have to come in equipped ready to negotiate ready to collect ready to present ready to negotiate ready to work with the highest levels so quantum leap prepares you for the highest levels in the world of business and government so it's an honor to dish you <laughs> life-changing transforming resources and then i invite you to join my academy yeah. change your life quantum leap into success because that's what it is about it's time to nurture greatness it's time to become it's time to ascend and i thank ikal for ikal <laughs> thank you for you know right going thank on this you, journey thank you, too. thank you i tell you every moment god is ready to help us transform to higher levels of success but we have to stay steady we have to stay focused don't be confused don't be afraid don't allow your mind and body to be in a condition that it cannot receive the parable of the sower the word of god is potent but if you do if you harden your heart cares of life all the stories that doesn't allow you to steady yourself to receive to grow to manifest these are the things these are the battles now the internal battles fight it win it overcome and then pursue success the world is waiting for the full manifestation of god's children i want you to be one of them mm. that's what my programs are for mm. for you to be unstoppable unstoppable don't let your emotions stop you don't let your feelings keep you bound don't let thoughts and assertions confuse you gain clarity gain emotional freedom empower yourself to be unstoppable on this journey that god has for you god bless you Ikao, thank you i'll see Amen. you again God bless. Bye Thank for now. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Bye. Bye.